I think the cover says it all. In fact, it does say Bitchin' Kitchen. Nadia is about to join us, and let me tell you, she's got a wild side, but when it comes to cooking, she has a delicious result. Let's welcome Nadia to Get Connected. Welcome. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Nadia, great having you with us. We love watching you on the Cooking Channel, but what's it like bringing style and flair to cooking? Oh, it's awesome. I've been having an amazing time, and that's what it's all about. It's about making the kitchen fun again. That's how people get cooking again. All right, Nadia, I have always enjoyed your accent, but what is it? Montreal. So my parents, they immigrated from Italy to Montreal, so I grew up speaking Italian in a French city, then went to English school. It's accent fusion. <laughs> Nadia, I love you. Now, reveal to the world, is it true you really cook in super high stilettos? Yeah, it is true. You know, I did... I, on TV, you know, I like to express myself, so I put on the, the spot clothes, the heels, and, and have a good time. I'm, I'm the mistress of my kitchen, and uh, that's my stage, so that's where I get dressed up. Well, Nadia, one thing's for sure, you got a great show. Congratulations on the new book, but what is it about cooking that just brings out the best in you? Uh, well, you know what it is? It's the combination of the cooking and the comedy. Uh, you know, every week I take a new topic, whether it's dysfunctional family pizza night, rehab recipes, impressing the in-laws, talk about the things that mean something to us, have a couple of laughs, and cook up a bitchin' meal to go along with it. So it's the combo. Well, let's turn up the heat, Nadia. Let's find out what it's going to take to take our holiday parties up a notch. What's the secret ingredient? Okay, there we go. You know, when, when you're throwing a holiday party, there's a couple of things you want to do. First, you want to cook up a delicious spread, but most importantly, you want to cook up a spread that tastes good at room temperature so you don't get stuck in the kitchen all night. You throw something out there that, that people can just serve themselves, and we're going to start with my crostini. So here I've got some uh, toasted baguette, sweet caramelized onion and creamy goat cheese. We're going to top it off with some prosciutto di parma and a slice of fresh fig. How good is this? It's sweet, it's salty. Your guests are going to love it. Then we've got sliders, and I've based these on a, an Italian, traditional Italian sandwich, a cotoletta sandwich, cutlet sandwich. So some fried veal, uh, we, we put some crisp prosciutto in there, a little bit of mayonnaise with fresh sage, fresh lettuce. It's fantastic. And finally, we've got a little dessert, okay, where we've got some chocolate balls that have salty pretzel and peanut. So again, it's that combination of sweet and savory. Now I'm going to tell you my favorite appetizer at the party, cocktails, okay? <laughs> Here I've got a pomegranate punch. Uh, it, it's absolutely fantastic and too easy to make. You get some chilled champagne, okay? You throw in some Van Gogh pomegranate vodka. This stuff's going to make you an instant cocktail expert. It's got the perfect pomegranate flavor, not too sweet. I've thrown in some hot, fresh chilies. So heat adds a little something to a cocktail, something unexpected, and some fresh tangerine slices. Again, you see with a punch, your guests serve themselves. So it's easy for you. Here we've got more of a classic drink, a holiday mojito. Freshly squeezed pink grapefruit juice, a little bit of maple syrup to bring out that sweetness. Fresh minced coriander, which brings out the herbal nature of a shot of blue triple wheat. So there you have it. You've got these delicious recipes, delicious cocktails. You can find all of these in my cookbook, Cooking for Trouble, and you're having a party. <laughs> well, Nadia, we're having a party with you right <laughs> now. Thank you for making it so much fun to do this interview. And given all your tremendous success, which is amazing, what advice would you give to the rest of us pursuing our dreams? Mm, all right. Well, definitely dreams do come true. Uh, and everybody always says that. Follow your dreams and they come true. The fine print is you got to work 15 hours a day. <laughs> so that would be my advice is read the fine print. <laughs> <laughs> well, Nadia, great advice, and thank you for cooking up some trouble in the kitchen. We love it. Good luck, and happy holidays. Thank you. Happy holidays. It says it right here on the cover, and you got to meet her in person. It says, Nadia G's bitching in the kitchen. No doubt about it. She can cook up some fun and some excitement, and she's got a pictorial of some pretty hot dudes in here, ladies. You may want to check it out. And uh, I'm going to try out some of her recipes tonight. I wish she could cook them for me. We'll be right back. Thank you so much for watching. Are you tired of negative news? 
We are. And that's why we're creating a movement. By keeping it real. With what you need to know. It's more than what's happening. It's bringing hope back to our lives. So go to contv.com and join our movement. <laughs>